What are you doing? I want to test the quality of the air. The air is colorless and odorless. How can you test it? What is it for? Well... Air quality can indeed be monitored. What? The first step of tackling the challenges of air pollution is to monitor air quality. It allows the Environmental Protection Department to understand the challenges of air quality, develop appropriate policies and evaluate their effectiveness. It also provides important information on air quality. For example, if tomorrow is a school holiday and we are planning an outing with our friends, with the air quality forecast information, we can plan better and have a more enjoyable holiday. Do they take samples like this? Of course not. We have monitoring stations in key districts around the city. They were established by the Environmental Protection Department with reference to international standards and other factors. This air quality monitoring network monitors the ambient and roadside concentrations of four key air pollutants to reflect the air quality. Carbon monoxide level and concentration of lead in the suspended particulates are also monitored in some stations. Let's invite a specialist from the department to explain the differences between these two types of monitoring stations. General monitoring stations located on the rooftop of four to six storey buildings monitor the air quality level the general public are exposed to in daily life. And the roadside stations located on BC roads monitor the air pollution level specifically for people who stay there for a prolonged period. Let's take a look on the locations of these two types of monitoring stations. Besides, the department will conduct short-term air quality monitoring in different areas from time to time. We will also review the current air quality monitoring network each year according to international guidelines to determine whether it is necessary to add or remove monitoring stations or parameters in order to suit the needs of the society. Miss Lee, how do we monitor the colorless and odorless air? Let's ask the specialist. In general, we use automatic analyzers to examine the concentrations of major air pollutants continuously. Different pollutants are analyzed with different principles to ensure that the air quality data are accurate, reliable, representative and comparable internationally. We adopt internationally recognized methods and devices. Monitoring stations are also operated in accordance with international best practice and a stringent quality control and assurance system is also in place. These procedures have been certified by the Hong Kong Laboratory Accreditation Scheme and accredited with ISO 17025. Data collected by the monitoring network will be processed and released to public on the website of the Environmental Protection Department. They are also used to calculate the current air quality health index and its forecast. The index is also accessible in smartphone app so that we are aware of the related short-term health risk and take precautionary measures to protect our health. That's why I said air quality monitoring is crucial for protecting public health.